Tonight we're learning no more details about a dramatic FBI raid that played out on Friday night in the Winfield section of the city. Officials say a quote terrorism investigation led federal, state and local officials to the 5900 block of Woodbine Avenue and at the center of the whole thing, a 17 year old boy. Action News reporter Andy McCormick joins us live outside the federal building with much more on these disturbing developments. Annie. Yeah, Walter, because that suspect is a juvenile at this point, his identity is not being released today. Federal authorities say that he was searching for attack sites and stockpiling weapons. Authorities today finally confirmed why the FBI besieged a Winwood neighborhood over the weekend. The young man who's under arrest is, was, an aspiring terrorist. That young man lived here in the 5800 block of Woodbine, where Friday federal authorities surrounded the home and over the course of several hours, removed boxes of evidence and multiple large firearms. And new tonight, video obtained by 6ABC shows the FBI serving another warrant Friday afternoon to a home in the 1200 block of Wallace Street. Sources confirm it is in connection to the terrorism investigation. This individual was also sending and receiving media containing terrorist propaganda and guidance on committing to criminal acts, including how to construct a bomb. The suspect came on the FBI's radar in March after he had contact with a global terrorism group connected to Al Qaeda in Syria. The individual had conducted general research into potential targets. Uh, I would say it was so general that there was not a specific location. It was not uh, just in the Philadelphia area. Investigators feared the suspect would carry out an attack after they saw he had plans to travel overseas. Among the items he purchased were tactical equipment, wiring, chemicals and devices often used as remote detonators. Sources say guns confiscated from the Winwood home were registered to the suspect's father, who is not a suspect and cooperating with the investigation. The teen faces charges, including weapons of mass destruction and conspiracy. And Walter, at this point, that teenager only facing state charges. However, today the district attorney said that his office would file the paperwork to try him as an adult. And Walter, this is still an ongoing investigation, so no one else has been charged at this time. That teenager still could face federal charges. For now, reporting live in Old City, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Very disturbing story. All right, thank you, Annie.